and welcome to The Sheer Luck Show. I'm Lisa Potter Dixon and we have an amazing show for you today. The queen of skincare, Adiola, takes us through her Sunday night beauty routine. Plus, we spend the day with little old me whilst I interview two powerhouse founders in the beauty industry. Prepare to be inspired to start your own business. But first, let me introduce you to our wonderful guest. I'm joined by Director of Makeup of Artistry at MAC Cosmetics and judge on Glow Up, Dominic Skinner. Woohoo! <laughs> Sheer Lux columnist and beauty consultant, Georgia Day, plus manicurist and educator, Faye Dennis. What a lineup! <laughs> what a lineup! Hi guys, welcome. Hi. Hello. I am so excited about. I mean, I'm always excited about the show, but this lineup today, the bags that you guys can't see down here <laughs> of joy that we're going to be getting stuck into. But I've got to say, starting with you, Dom. I mean, 20 years at Mac, 40 years of Mac it's this mad, year. Isn't it? I know. But what an incredible, incredible brand, incredible business. And I feel like over that length of time, something that upsets us all is discontinued <laughs> products. Oh, if I get a DM oh. again saying, you discontinued this. Or the worst is when you get the people trying to take photos of the bottom of the lipsticks oh. and it's all smudged. <laughs> or the, it's like, it says some, uh, no, I like dear, I'm so sorry. No idea. <laughs> You're on your own. But that's where we're going to start today. We're actually going to talk about the products we miss the most. Now, there may be some tears, there may be some tears, <laughs> but uh, we have bought a few along with us. So I feel like, Don, we really should start with you because I can see your bag down there and this could take a while. It could. This could you take a while. You know what? Well, I'll edit. I'll, 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 I'll try and edit I feel down. like you need to close your eyes and like, pitch. <laughs> it's a lucky dip. It's a lucky dip. <laughs> That's kind of lucky dip, though. Isn't it? From I mean, well, the, the thing is, there's, there's, been some, there's been some really amazing limited edition products. Yes. Which I think are probably worse because, yes. you know, they're in and then they're out. You get excited oh. and then yeah. they go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but uh, let's start with Hyperreal Foundation. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Is that this... discontinued? Oh, babe, it was discontinued. <laughs> <laughs> it got discontinued. Like, I mean, I don't even want I've to open this. I've literally just given away my It got discontinued <laughs> just so before I started at oh Mac God, 20 don't. years ago. Wow. Yeah, but okay, it's the fine. one thing that everyone's like, bring back Hyperreal. Yeah. And it's like, you know what? The, the interesting thing is, is that there was a little talk about, I mean, oh, 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 I'm, 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 I'm also such a hoarder, I can't let things go, it's like, yeah. you know, like, uh, the, the government are coming in with hazmat suits, <laughs> prizing it out of my, get out, uh, but no, there was a conversation about bringing it back. But the interesting thing, it's, a, it's about why things get discontinued because it, it fell out of favour. Yep. So people don't want shiny foundation. Mm -hmm. um, but then people do want shiny foundation, yeah. but they remember this, but the, you mm. kind of remember it with rose tinted glasses. So you kind of bring it back and you kind of think, actually, it's not that great because <laughs> technology moves on. Of course, so, formulations you know, change. The, the formula yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that got updated was the Studio Radiance. Oh, oh yeah. So okay. this is the new sort of glowy new foundation. And improved version. Yeah. So they took the, this was very, very pearlescent. Like it was great with the sort of 1990s camera technology, yeah. Yeah. but with your 8K high resolution, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's literally like Tin Man. Um, so this still has the pearl in it, but it, it has a slightly more skincare base. So it just, it delivers that glow without the, the glitter. So if people like G sense. think it was discontinued last month, or it was discontinued, <laughs> if it's, if it's new to you that this has been discontinued, I feel like then that, move on. Was that a Franchise though, there was other hyper real stuff within the franchise, or no? There, there were. Maybe there that's were, what I'm thinking of. Maybe I'm not that old. Yeah. Don't try and claim about <laughs> that. <Yeah. now. laughs> <laughs> no, I know. So that, that those are, but this is from my kit. Right, we're going to go back to that bag in a minute. But Faye, come on, what's something that you miss? So something that was massive for like manicurist is because recently, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but nails have definitely become more of a luxury treatment. Mm. All kind of manicurists are trying to like step up the game and really make it a luxury yeah. feeling and I feel like nails has really like hit at don't the minute. have to tell me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. have a look yeah. girl. everyone's and I'm loving what we've all got um, but something that was I found really amazing for the industry was by Rado actually bought out a hand scrub now scrubs are something that manicurists even at salons have started to introduce just to make the treatment a little bit more luxury and, and sexy isn't yeah. it? Getting your hands like and it's honestly creative. it's my client's favorite part of the treatment just yeah. the feeling afterwards and obviously like a manicure is actually the whole hand it's not just yeah. the nails so 
that scrub was really able to focus on that. And obviously Byrodo's got all the lovely scents like mm, gypsy water. And yeah. so it really added to like the luxury of it all. And then they discontinued it. No. And I don't know why, because no. honestly, I think every nail tech and every manicurist out there had one in their bag. We absolutely loved it. And like, it was spenny as well. Yeah. Like, we, <laughs> and it didn't last long, yeah, but we were. It's gonna come back. It's got to It's gonna come back. And because a lot of scrubs out there aren't, just hand scrubs, like they're just body scrubs. So it's specifically a hand so scrub. So it's specifically wow. labelled wow. hand scrub. And I was wow. like, wow, this is wow. amazing because yeah, yeah. this is like a message to say like, oh, it's so important to scrub your hands because it's so often forgotten about. Yeah. Um, and then it's gone. Okay. And I have like the tiniest little bit left in this tube and I'm like, <laughs> I even bought- VIP. Exactly, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. For your mum, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if you guys are the same, but because we're all, all testing products constantly, this hand is really young. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that was like a really amazing product, so I'm sad. And I'm this Fingers is me crossed. saying a message, please bring it back. It was unbelievable. But one that I have loved as an alternative oh, yeah. is this Joe Malone London. And as you can see, it's a big old healthy tub. So yeah. we need to smell this, pass it round. This is the Come vitamin on. E. This is the yeah. vitamin I E. Love so this. Good. No, no, I, I, I haven't yeah, tried no, I love it. Oh, I love it's it. so good. Do you know what? I actually asked the lady at Joe Malone what's the scent? Because all my clients, we were like, it's like cocoa butter or yeah, but we were saying almond. We were saying um, it's got a bit of vanilla in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, apparently it's not scented. Apparently that what? is just the natural sense the natural of it. sense Ooh, from wow. it. Yeah, and it leaves this beautiful so like beautiful. veil of oil on your yeah. hands afterwards. So this is amazing, and obviously, I mean, it's a little bit expensive. I think it's around say maybe like the sixty to seventy pound mark, but you get so much. That's going to last. Mm. But That's you get last. so much, and yeah. the best thing is because it's a pot you can scrape all of it out. Whereas mm. like, you know, a tube, you're like trying to squeeze. Yeah. I even got one of Amazon's little, you know, the rollers yeah, that you can yeah, get, yeah, like yeah. the old two yeah. to get, get every bit. Every last yeah. Part. Whereas this, you can really like scrape get, the Get tub. every last bit, that's what we yeah, like. Exactly. What so about you, G? What's your... Mine's a MAC product, which Dom knows well. It was <laughs> a cream color base, which are their like multi-purpose mm. kind of um, sort of cream pigments. And it was in a shade called Root. And it was just the best. It was kind of like a mushroomy, taupey, brownie. It was just amazing. It gave you, I, this, I mean, this is going back years, obviously, now we know how old I am. <laughs> it was when Terry used to do loads of backstage shows, yeah. Terry Barber, and he used to use it all the time and he used to create beautifully tired eyes, he used to call them. And it just, I mean, you know, it was like looking tired, but looking really sort yeah. of sexy and disheveled. I love that. Yeah. 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 And I obviously just lapped it up. So um, yeah, I missed that. It was amazing. And I, they still do cream colour base, um, don't they? But yeah. they don't do that shade anymore. And that's the yeah. one I really miss. So I haven't found anything... I mean, I'm sure there are similar products and similar kind of shades, but that was that it. was an industry icon. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not even going to tell you mine because I need to go back in that bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I really need to go back in that. Okay. Hold on, can I pick one? Can I just like, yes. close my eyes? Although, hang on, there's a couple of things from for, for next. I'm just going to... He's making me hang it. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Okay, hold on. There's, I'm going to pick Okay, one. I'm just going to say now, there's one thing in a box. Don't is, pick it. Don't put your finger in it. Oh, that okay, is I'm sa it's sacred. That. There was these lipsticks that Mac did years ago called Lip Tensity. And I they, remember those. Do you remember Ooh. those? Yeah. And they were incredibly uh, pigmented. They're super pigmented. Wow. And it's just, they were gorgeous. Um, for some reason, people just didn't click with them. But Viva Glam quality. Yeah, these uh, ones here. Yes. Oh, sorry, I um, shouldn't have just. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Viva Glam quality is sort of a new shade that's kind of come out that is, oh, is wow. oh, I mean it's one. it's not really the same but it's kind of got that sort of got that sort of yellowy undertone mm -hmm. it's got that 90s feel to yeah. it um, but it's the newest color within the Viva Glam lineup which is um, and Viva Glam is something that Max has been doing for 30 years right it's yes the... so this year is off is Max 40th anniversary wow. it's that crazy aunt that's just looks really cool and really young but <laughs> no one really knows how old she yeah. is um, <laughs> until she tries to get off the sofa and you go, oh, <laughs> that's how old she is. Yeah. Um, but, it, but it is that sort of brand that seems to just be very staple for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, but within the 40 years, there's also other anniversaries. So it's also the 30th anniversary of Viva Glam. Mm -hmm. um, Viva Glam is a lineup of lipsticks. They've changed over the years. The core has always been uh, one, two, and three. 
um, which they've changed the names to, but they've now brought out a fourth one called Viva Glam Equality, which highlights the the sort of the, the the change of direction that Viva Glam has. It was very much about HIV awareness uh, and HIV support. And over half a billion has been raised, right? Just from selling lipstick. Wow, wow. That no that other is way of, of doing it. So yeah. it's a hundred percent of the of the sale of the lipsticks. Mm. Every single penny goes back into the the Mac Viva Glam mm. uh, fund, which then uh, funnels uh, money to different organisations that that I originally works on HIV support. Yeah. So um, it was su supporting the lives of people who were affected by HIV. Mm -hmm. So not just people that, that um, were HIV positive, but also family, children uh, that were maybe around mm -hmm. uh, people And 30 years living. ago, the conversation was very different. That was different a very different mm -hmm. conversation. Yeah. Whereas now, yeah. it's more about equality. So it, it's working on equality of life, uh, but it's also working on um, of people living with HIV, but it's also uh, racial equality, environmental equality. Um, so it's 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 changing its format, but the money all still goes into mm, that's supporting incredible. people. So it's you, incredible you basically look good and do good, and that's just <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, very that's much amazing. So. Well, um, we haven't really got time to go through the rest of Dom's bag. Well, you lot haven't, but I am later. We will. We yeah. will. But what a fountain of knowledge you lot have been. Thank you so much. Right now. We're going on to the ASMR part of the show and another wealth of beauty knowledge. Take a look at Adiola's Sunday night routine. She's in a fancy hotel, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Adiola and I'm here with Sheer Lux and Space in K to take you through my nighttime routine. So the first step in my routine is to cleanse and I'm going to go in with the Tatcha Rice Wash Cleanser. So I really love this cleanser and it's a really great way to give you that really radiant look to your skin. Now what's great is that it doesn't strip your skin of any of the moisture, it really helps to replenish and hydrate your skin at the same time, but it's also great to really reveal more even skin and get rid of any impurities. So obviously I wear makeup every single day, I wear SPF, and so what I really want is a cleanser that really helps to get rid of any of the impurities on my skin, but doesn't strip my skin at the same time. Step two, I'm gonna go in with a Sunday Riley High Dose Retinoid Serum. So all you need is a couple of drops of this, I love to use a retinoid as part of my routine. There's a reason why vitamin A is the gold standard ingredient, skin renewal, and giving your complexion a really nice even tone. Now, this is one of my favorite ingredients to use, especially at night time, to wake up the glowing skin. And for a lot of people, they do really suffer with side effects when they're using a vitamin A product in their routine. They might get a bit of redness and irritation, what I love about the Sunday Riley Serum is that this is fantastic because it really helps to look after your skin at the same time so you don't get any of those side effects. All you get is a really lovely, brighter, more even skin tone. It really helps with my hyperpigmentation and it gives my skin the most incredible glow. Next, I'm going to go in with a Sunday Riley Brightening and Depuffing Eye Contour Cream. Now with this eye cream, you only need a little bit and that will be enough for both eyes. Now what I love about this eye cream is it really works to target the under eye area and I'm a massive fan of using eye creams because the under eye is a lot thinner than the rest of the face and it's really delicate. You need particular products that are targeted to really help with the under eye area. Now this also contains caffeine, which is actually really good for boosting circulation and really invigorating the under eye area for that brightness. And it really works really well overnight so that you can wake up to more brighter, more even looking under eyes and also to look less tired. Next, I'm going in with the Ilia Face Base Milk. Now, I really love this because it also works as a very lightweight moisturizer. I love to put a little bit into my hands and work it into the skin. And this is a very nourishing product and it's very nice to hydrate and plump the skin on a very low down level. Really working that into my skin with my hands and also down onto the neck area as well. And it just feels really lovely, hydrated, glowy and bouncy. Then I'm gonna go in with the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Now the lip area is an area that is very much overlooked and what's great about this Lip Sleeping Mask is that you can put it on overnight to wake up to really nourishing, hydrated lips. So a little bit goes a long way. And I literally like to kind of envelop my lips with this and I literally pop it on with my fingers as if it was a mask and it literally feels incredible. 
But one of my nighttime secret weapons is to invest in a silk pillowcase. Now this is the original, it's the slip silk pillowcase and it's one of the best ways to keep your skin hydrated and glowing. Most of us use a cotton pillowcase, which is fine, but a lot of the times you find that a lot of your expensive products just end up being wasted on the pillowcase. By using a silk pillowcase, it reduces the friction on your skin and it also doesn't absorb all those beautiful, luxurious products that you're using on your skin. So definitely invest in one and you can. And finally, I'm gonna go in with the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray from This Work. There's a reason why they call it beauty sleep because it's so important to make sure that you're getting a very comfortable full night's sleep to wake up looking rejuvenated and well rested. And I really love to use this so I kind of spray it all over my bed, especially on my pillowcase. This is a great way for me to create that beautiful ambiance so I feel a little bit more relaxed and it also helps me to fall asleep a little bit faster. Thank you so much for watching my nighttime routine in partnership with Space and K. All the products are available for you to shop now. Addy always brings the great tips and actually I see a huge difference with my silk pillowcase, particularly when you've got curl in your hair. Yeah. yeah. You know, it doesn't get exactly. <laughs> I know you feel that way too, dog. I mean, I just I get side hairs. hair, so I mean, <laughs> Listen, Natasha needs to protect it. You know, so right. Thank you. Huh? Okay, finally, maybe not today, but the sun has been out. Mm -hmm. The Where's joy. I know, yes. no, it's going to come back. We are going into spring. So transitional products, what are yours and why? G, I'm gonna start with you. I've got two that okay. I'm currently obsessed with. The first oh. is this Ilia Skin Rewind yes. Complexion Stick. Mm. I've never been a massive one for stick foundations. Mm. I just find them a bit kind of like chalky and a little bit kind of lay stick in the wrong places. But there is something about this formula. Ilia do foundation, skin tints, that kind of thing so well. They're just so light. It's amazing. You wouldn't think there's as much coverage in it as there is, but it's also really, really light and kind of your skin feels like it can breathe at the yeah. same time. It's just, it's amazing. Yeah, and it, it kind of just goes on Lovely. looking like a layer of skin. It's genius. It's amazing. Ooh. It's so creamy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's I'm so watching you. Don't nick that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Look over there. <laughs> and then the second one that I am obsessed with, and we were talking about these yes. earlier. I've seen these everywhere on the TikTok. the Milk Makeup <laughs> yes. um, Jelly Tints. I just have to say, the first time you do, you use one of these, you just be warned because there's a little layer of kind of like dew almost mm. over the top that goes on and you think, uh oh, what have I done? But it does kind of like soften once you get into the product, but they are just amazing. I mean, they are so juicy. Look at that. It's God, it's so you want to eat it? I, you do. <laughs> I saw some of the TikTok do it. Eat they it. They stop. Bite it. Sorry. I was like, this oh, I think yeah, that. really wants to go viral. But, yeah. <laughs> look how sheer and lovely that yeah, is. Yeah, it's but beautiful. at the same time, it literally doesn't budge. I mean, I've had this on for three days. So oh, wow. No, <laughs> Um, but they're just really fun. They're kind of slightly cooling on skin, so I feel like mm. these are really coming into their own yeah. in the summer as well when you just want yes. a bit of like cooling Fresh. colour. <laughs> so nice. What about you, Faith? So something I have been obsessed with recently is this Chanel, uh, have you tried the it? Water so the nice. water tint. So I'm really trying to embrace kind of less makeup mm -hmm. and former Essex girl here. So <laughs> trying to go a bit more it's, natural. We'll get through it together. <laughs> I'm trying to ditch the fake tan a little bit more. Dom, what is yours? Uh, it seems obvious, but SPF. Um, I, I am one of those people, I'm going to own up. Uh, everyone's going to hate me. I don't put SPF on every day. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, don't hate hey, me. Away. Don't hate me. Um, I don't. I do, that, I do that quick math in my head. I look out the window and I'm like, is it sunny enough? Is it uh, Alexa? How sunny? Is it? <laughs> um, and I, I check, and I and I. Oh, am I going to be near a window? Ooh, am I outside running around, or am I just in a basement? UVA, somewhere? UVB, not about the sun. Well, Ooh. you say that, but we're in a basement. So <laughs> let's be honest. Um, but when I do, yeah. I really, you know, I've got a lot of surface area, so I need to make sure it's protected. Yeah. Um, so I love a high SPF, SPF 50, mm -hmm. SPF 40. So I tried loads. These are the two that I fell in love with. So Super great. Goop. Um, we got the matte screen and the unseen sunscreen. Um, and I love the formula. Mm -hmm. I love the fragrance. They go on really easy. Um, just and, in yeah. the UK, right? They've literally only just come into the UK last yeah. year, I but think. I feel like yeah. actually Super Goop, Super Goop is a brilliant brand if you haven't yet found what you're looking for because they yeah. I think yeah. they do certainly in the states there's like 40 formulations of SPF to choose like 
they cover all bases, all spectrums of what you're looking for and that kind of thing. And we were just saying, weren't we? I think it's, it's so true. It's a good point you make about SPF because if you're not going to use it, then there's no, there's literally no point wearing it because yeah. it's, yeah. it's about compliance. It's about wearing it every day, finding a formula that fits under makeup or mm. it gives you the kind of skin finish you want. So it's, it's really important to kind of do a bit of research and, and test and try things out. You have to test them yeah. out, yeah. you know, so it, it, it can be expensive, but I think it's worth the investment, like yeah. you say. Yeah. I know I'm going to use these yeah. um, and that's, gonna, that's yeah. the important that thing. I mean, the best SPFs, the Mecca, for instance, the Mecca Cosmetica one that I'm obsessed with, it's a pleasure to use. Like, it feels like a really beautiful moisturiser. And I think when you find something like yeah. that, mm. that you look forward to putting on like it was part of your skincare routine, yes. that's the... You don't want to be like rubbing it in yeah. for 10 minutes. No, <laughs> that's the no. sweet spot. So The I other thing, see. the other thing, only because I can't have just one, uh, it's uh, perfume. Yeah. So I, I, I love a wintry, heavy perfume, but this is my summer one, Citroen 28. Come it on. was, um, are you ready? <laughs> yeah. I'll just, Spritz I'll do a little. Let's do a... Oh, lovely. Ooh, that's lovely. I know, so fresh. Right? It's really, it's lemony, it's citrusy, it's, mm. it's, it's really... Is there like um, jasmine or something mm. in there as well? Yeah, or there's a floral there's undertone some kind to of white it. Floral. Um, I just, I, I'm one of those people, I get... Like blossom or something. Like, something. I want, yeah. when I walk into yeah. a room, I want to have to go, Dominic's here. You know, that, that's, <laughs> I dream of that. That's like my, that's my, like, you know... Before um, you even walk in. Um, yes. Yeah. Other than like, He's a mile away. Ooh, <laughs> ooh what's yeah. that? Um, so oh this, God, but this yeah. is the one that, that I really, beautiful. I love a citrusy fragrance. And the, what I love about uh, Le Labo is, um, this is the second one, I've, I've nearly come to the end, um, but you can refill it. Yeah, uh, wow. And they so make it for you uh, fresh. Yeah. So mm. it's, it's a, a fresh formula. They they refill it. Get your name on it. Yeah, get your name on it. Dominic Fun Day because yeah. I was having a day on my own uh, <laughs> doing a bit of shopping, so it's a fun day. Um, so that's I was that's, but that's on there. Uh, but oh. yeah, it's 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 uh, you know I'm gonna get get it refilled for a third time now. So mm, fantastic. Yeah, perfect. Love Lise, that. What's that. yours? Well, listen, I'm telling you now, this was not my idea. <laughs> like, this is oh, a big moment. God, yeah. Fanfare. <laughs> um, so I launched my own home homeware brand with my oh, no biggie. Here on Friday. No Thank you. Yay. Thanks, guys. Oh, God, awkward. Um, <laughs> uh, we've got loads of stuff coming, but we have oh, launched with a candle wow. Wow. called Filthy Rose. I love um, that name. Thank you. Our brand's called and Champagne and Smoke. And I can smell it. Yeah. 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 Like, well, pass the it around. So it's, it's damson rose, oh, tobacco, gosh. saffron, and Amaryst, black pepper, 15% wow. natural essential oils, wow. um, Ooh, soy wax, small batch poured, all in the UK, mm. hand blown vessels that you can reuse. I love the packaging. Isn't it? Yeah. You can make it into a coffee cup, yeah. you can make it into like I a love yeah. makeup brush holder, brush holder, anything. But yeah, so we, th she sold out in under 24 oh, hours, but she's wow. coming back. Really? <laughs> <laughs> she sold out, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, it's been passed around. <laughs> But yeah, talking of like sustainability, she we we, uh, we call her she because she's my field friend. She. she comes in uh, rather than a, a box, a reusable bag. I love that. Uh, I love that. Yeah, and it holds the scent. So when you smell the bag, you Perfect. can smell the fragrance. So yeah, oh, that's yeah. my blah, blah, blah. Oh, Right, next up, we spend the day well with me again. And <laughs> I had the most insane day meeting not one but two industry founders who have created iconic brands. First, it's Anastasia Soiree of eyebrow brand Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the second is Sunday Riley of the best-selling skincare brand, well, Sunday Riley. Plus, there was a Hollywood actor thrown in too. Here it is. <laughs> Hey Lisa. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm very excited. I uh, am so excited. This is pretty iconic what's happening today. Can you tell us a little bit about it? What's what's the plan? Yes. So I'm in Claridge's, which is obviously like one of my favourite places in London, but we're here to interview the mega Anastasia of Anastasia Beverly Hills fame, the woman that created the Great Brow. And we're interviewing her for a podcast. So it's gonna be really amazing. I've got so many questions and I can't wait to see her. Amazing. And we're doing this upstairs. Yes, we're doing suites. it. Well I think so, yeah. In a, oh my god, I've never been in the suite in garages. So yeah, we're going uh, we're gonna go upstairs and see all of the new products as well that are at Space NK, so it's gonna be really exciting. <laughs> but it took them, was it seven years to because dig the spa, but they, they had to do it silently. Ones. Yeah. So no one knew it was happening. She's a star. Hodges. Hello. Everyone's always like, where's Hodge? What's she wearing? Wow, guys, this is Beautiful. Hey, finally, Lisa. She's going on like two hours of sleep. Sorry. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Doing? This is 
Have you just flown in yesterday? Yes. yes. I don't know. Uh, the day before. Yes. The day before. Yes. Get that coffee down, you girl. Hey, wow. I haven't even oh, looked yeah. at the view. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I haven't seen I any of that food for the like this. It's a pretty good spot for a... Uh, so fucking good. Cool. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> this one here, you see how it's like fanned and this one's like closed. So you turn yeah. that upside down and, go, and it goes. What, from the, you do it here? Is there anything you don't know, babe? <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> it's the education. Hi, so this is like the next gen, the younger of you. Oh, yeah. Sure they, oh, just oh those queens. Don't trust me. I see them. Every time I see them, I'm like, how long do they take every morning working out what to wear? Because they always look so incredible, don't they? Anastasia <laughs> requires in a room. When she's doing an event, what does she, what does she need? Um, <laughs> champagne, <laughs> coconut water, and mints. And so we, much every time. Yeah, I think we need to channel. We need to mix it up a bit. Change the rider a little yeah. bit for us. Yeah, ourselves. exactly. We, we always get a prep. We always get a, a prep. Yeah. Or, uh, but maybe on our shoots we do need some champagne. Yeah, I uh, think it might, it might make people a bit more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely funner after a glass. <laughs> <laughs> so you're on podcast duty today. I'm on podcast duty. Yes. So um, just setting up. We're using our old mics with these different kind of stands. So just making sure it's all stable and okay before we get started. Nice. These lights are really hot. Apparently there's a hot tub upstairs. Isn't there? We'll pop in there later. So. Yeah, we're going yeah. up. Yeah. No? You look yeah. gorgeous. I right. Also, don't Why tell anyone, but oh, I stole a yes. Clara just pen from reception. <laughs> <laughs> he did actually say to me, you can have that. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Lisa Potter Dixon, and I'm so excited that today we are kicking off the My Life in Beauty success stories, sponsored by Space NK, with the incredible Anastasia of the Anastasia Beverly Hills fame. Now, this is going to be such an interesting chat because I'm obsessed with brows and so is she. Lucy, you seem very relaxed, very excited. No, are you, how are you feeling? I just like bullshit this bit. <laughs> I always just pretend I'm relaxed, but obviously I'm very nervous. Do you do a lot of this kind of thing quite often? Yeah, I work with Sheila Lux a lot and um, I've done like loads of their shows, done podcasts and stuff, so I really enjoy it. Um, but I just think also it's such a privilege to be able to meet people that are so incredible in the industry and I've been a makeup artist for 20 years so I think when you're meeting someone that's inspired you and that has created incredible products but also it's not a story that started as success it's just water to have on the uh no can I have that champagne oh yeah you want a glass of champagne oh yeah hey sure. we are in London yeah I'll have a glass <laughs> <We're doing Annabelle>. <laughs> <laughs> It is the amazing Anastasia Soiree of Anastasia Beverly Hills fame. Uh, oh, I'm so excited you. to be with you. I am so excited to be here. So we've been so talking good. about how we both have a love for partying, which is oh, always fun. This story of yours, I mean, it really is incredible. And I'm sure you never get bored of telling get it. Up. Oh my God, you have the perfect eyebrows for this product. Okay, that's why I love it. Uh -huh. Thank you to you and your team for all the education that you've given women as well, because I feel like the confidence that women have with their brows now oh, is, you know, mainly down to you and your team, and I think that's amazing. Start with the something in mind that this is not going to be an easy road. Yeah, it's not easy, <laughs> but as long as you love, you will feel like you don't work a day in your life. Mm. You need to love it, otherwise, it's very difficult to to go to the finish line. Keep your eyebrows beautiful. <laughs> don't over tweeze your eyebrows. <laughs> you had I'm, a mommy. I'm a mommy right now. <laughs> and do whatever makes you happy. Yes. Don't listen to anyone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Enjoy your time in London. Thank you. I'm Thank gonna get you. to even out my brows now because I feel a bit wonky. Bye, Bye. everyone. So this is the truth. This is me. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, sorry. Oh, look at this. She's amazing. Like, such a pro. And I think, like, for you guys watching, what you're going to learn is so inspiring, but also educational with the whole how to actually do your brows properly. Sorry, talking of that. I know. The queen did my brows. <laughs> she literally gave you. It makes sense that she, it's like literally ties into what she learned in art school. Yeah, yeah. That is, for me, I was like, wow, of course. Because being a makeup artist, that's the art side of stuff. is yeah. something that we are constantly looking at. Yeah. Here we are, I'm guessing in the cam. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, um, we just saw Bradley Cooper. <laughs> I just saw Bradley Cooper. I just saw Bradley Cooper going into Claridge's, and I've got a good story. So when Andy Murray won Wimbledon all those years ago, yeah. my husband is Scottish, so we were sat in the garden in kilts with a TV with like 20 of our friends Brilliant. watching Andy Murray win Wimbledon. No. He wins, 
we're drunk on Pims. My phone rings. Hi, Lisa. It's IMG. Can you get to Wimbledon to do the makeup for Marion Vitali, who just won, and for uh, Andy's mum and wife? Wow. Oh, so I was like, I am smashed. <laughs> yeah, I can be there. And so I, I get to Wimbledon. Mm. I've got like half my kit like pulled together. I'm still in the kilt. I'm still <laughs> in a kilt. We're probably a glass of Pims. Let's just say I've got a glass of Pims around. Get there. Police open the door and they say, Lisa. I'm like, oh, shit, yeah, what have I done? Oh, no, yeah, that's yeah, I'm right. So they kick me out of the car because there's crowds because Andy winning Wimbledon was yeah. ginormous. And I go up the stairs at Wimbledon onto the balcony, which is where the players, when they win, wave to everyone oh, wow. over the balcony at Wimbledon. And I walk up there and I'm like, oh, that's the Beckhams. There's Bradley Cooper, there's Gerard Butler, there's like every, oh. like, honestly, all the famous people you can imagine. Oh, so, my can you see my little, my little kill? Oh, Look. my God. Look at my effort that I've made. Oh, <laughs> oh there, my God. there we are. Oh, there we are. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Oh, we made it to Shirax. Oh, nice. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Well. So I have done a jewelry line for Edge of Ember, which is a really lovely jewelry brand. So yeah. British, it's all sustainable, etc. etc. The core piece is I have this ring from my grandma from the 70s. We think it's from the 70s, which is Malachite um, and Parve diamonds. And people ask me all the time where it's from. Yeah. So I wanted to recreate. In some can I try it? Oh, of course you can. Wow. So that's it, and it's also available in black. Do you have an idea in your head, like, did you? Is this what you thought? Yeah, you'd exactly. End up with? Is exactly. That exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this, like was the, this was like the first, particularly this was like exactly what I had in my and head. And jewelry is so important to have a story behind it as well. This is it. I really yeah. want it to just look. There's so much. So, Beautiful. and then you can also get a little charm, like, like the ring to match. So okay. the other thing we were discussing <laughs> was Lisa's. Yours is even, but yours is more because mine's just angry, you know, on, angry on somebody else. But you've got you're launching yes. into higher brands. Yeah, this is huge. Yeah, I'm launching a homeware brand. It will be out now because it launched on the first of March. I'm assuming this is going out just after. Called Champagne and Smoke, and it's very cool. It's inspired by the 70s and like the feeling of the dance floor and the disco. Me too. Really? <laughs> yeah, my friend Leah, uh, who owns a company called An Enemy Interiors, it's our business, and the reason we met was because. I am her best customer. <laughs> Very go us. That's a good chat. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 again. Shit, that was terrible. Do it again. Look do it at the elbow. Okay. Okay. I've got to use that hand. I've got my hands. I started to your the ring. Oh, no, go on then. Without that. Okay. Yay. Yes. Go us. How are you? to L. What is this? <laughs> is it a ponds? Is it a water feature? Who knows? But it looks like it's been a half-hearted effort. <laughs> and this is our podcast room. <laughs> because I had the opportunity. Yeah, I was at a place in my life where um, I felt like yeah. down and out, like, yeah. and I just kind of reached this breaking point and I was like, it, okay, I'll start saying that. yes. And yeah. I've realized that by not being I mean, like flexible and saying like, all right, I'm gonna take this wrong with it. I had basically said no to life. Hi Henry. We are in like the yeah. very intimate yeah. Sheerlux podcast room and <laughs> next to me is the amazing <laughs> Sunday Riley, uh, who created some of my all time favorite skincare products. I'm sure you've heard of the Best bit of out there in my opinion and I'm about to interview her for the I success stories which is a really exciting podcast series one. that we're doing Last with Sheila. I'm feeling great about this talk. I've got my coffee. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm comfortable. I'm cozy. Like let's do it. Hi guys. I'm Lisa Post Dixon and welcome back. No lie. I think you know this anyway. It's one of my favorite skincare brands. It is the one and only Sunday of Sunday Riley. Woo! The one and only, like my, my motto, I want to say it's I want to glow like a disco ball. Yes. Like that's it. Yes. Like I just want to like radiate and shine. Nice. Oh, <laughs> How did it go? How was it? How was it? Was so it? Was so <laughs> no, it was so fun. Yeah. It's Amazing. gonna like honestly, when you guys listen to it, you're gonna be inspired. Thank you for a lovely day. Yeah, thank Lisa. you for a lovely day, Henry. And I'm really excited about seeing like your brows and your skin next time I see you. Like honestly, and I'll be the bitch out of the camera. You will. Time. You actually, you will. Forget about me. <laughs> Brow, skin, everything. Exactly. Amazing. Nice well, thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you see soon. Later. See you later inspired all over again. I mean, that was literally the best day ever. Now, talking about inspiration, I want to talk about celebrity beauty looks. We're in awards season. Whose makeup are you loving right now? I'm actually going to start because I feel like you guys are all going to say this, but Ray at the Brits. I mean, oh, Lan, wow. yeah, beautiful yeah, Lan has mm -hmm. been doing her makeup since day one, basically. Mm. 
for me, bringing back you know, that beautiful graphic, Hollywood-inspired line. I mean, she just rocks it amazingly. And she stood out so much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, her whole vibe, in a way. But I love I love what Lan does with her makeup. I think, you know, she does a great job. Yeah. What about you guys? Who are you loving right now? Um, I've got two. I love what Florence Pugh is doing at the moment. Yeah, and Alex, Alex Babsky yeah. did that amazing kind of, like, metallic graphic I for the June um, part two premiere. Was that I Phyllis's love. products that um, it would have been, wasn't it? It, it must have been. Yeah. yeah. It was just, I just love her. I think she just Face feels lace. really Face individual lace. and just looks amazing. And then the other one, because I know it's boring, but Sienna Miller just, I just don't know how she looks so good all the time. Yeah, I mean, I look like Hagrid when I'd had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. And she just looks like she's sort of been reborn. I just, mm. yeah, it blows my mind. So I can't stop staring at her. When she mm. was pregnant at, was it the Vogue, that yeah. big Vogue event? Wow. She yeah. had her belly and she just looked she like just, a goddess. Yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's unfathomable to me, but she is just gorgeous. Yeah, she is. Yeah. What about you, Faye? So I always look down at the hands first, because um, I was oh, such oh, a yes, nail girl. Nice. I was like, what's the nail tech? Yes. Yes. Good nails yeah. There are some moment. good nails, yes. but... I absolutely loved what Margot Robbie did on mm. the Barbie, the whole Barbie premiere. Yeah. I mean, face, outfits, nails, unreal. Um, but recently, I've noticed that there is that Barbie core creeping into nails. And I think definitely coming into spring, we're going to see a lot of pastel French tip. I know Margot did like a really Barbie pink French tip. And I think that will be really popular. And also, I'm not sure if you heard of like the lip gloss Manny and the clean girl aesthetic. I yeah. can really see that on the red carpet. And Bettina Goldstein did her nails. And she even like mixed a load of shades together. She did it to um, for the jelly The jelly, jelly shoes. shoes. Exactly. They remind me of the little milk yeah. ones as And well. it was like this really gorgeous translucent yeah. baby pink. It exactly. Like, yeah. It's that proper lip gloss yeah. shade. But she mixed like three Chanel colours together um, to create this perfect shade. And I see that creeping in with clients. People are now going, oh, what would that look like if we yeah. mix those two together? Or I like this shade, but it's got... I don't know, it's not the right undertone. Can we add that? And I'm like, yep, I'm like an artist. Yeah. Yeah. All my yeah. Yeah. Like, let's an go, artist. let's see. So all these like unique blends seeing on the red carpet and stuff yeah. like that. And how really exciting. exciting for you guys, yeah. because you are an artist. We're lucky enough as makeup artists, we constantly get to be creative and play. Yeah. But a lot of times with manicures, it's kind of the same thing, but not anymore. Definitely. So the fact that you're getting to do yeah. that is yeah. just brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. It's so fun. And even things like Chrome was massive yes. with Hayley Bieber and stuff like like that and people didn't even realize you could do that yeah. and it's like you have so many different colors so many different variations so I mean at the end of the day I'm covered in dust and glitter <laughs> and stuff like that and you but love it, it exactly it's been so fun recently and I love to see all the inspiration that people I, put I remember I, it must have been a probably a good five six years ago at the Oscars, I think it was the Oscars, that they had a little um, red carpet for the nails. Yeah, they did! Yeah, Do you remember? Yeah. That? Yeah. I, mean, it was such I yeah. want to bring that back, yeah. I haven't yeah. seen it in ages. It was, was so really good. Good. Point. That yeah, was definitely. E, I think it was E that yeah. did it. Yeah. 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 Zanna, who owns Milk, mm. she was the yeah, presenter yeah, on it. I remember yeah, and they'd yeah. be like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. But it was brilliant. It was so I feel like bringing that back for my Instagram, or like my clients, like when they leave, just get a little... I feel like now nails are like rightly so, like huge. Exactly. Mm. And you, even charms forever, are, like, they're even adding charms yeah. and 3D nails has become really popular. I mean, I gave myself a little nail piercing the other day where you literally had, like, <gasps> a jewel off it. That. It wasn't great in the shower because you're, like, getting stuck in your hair, <laughs> but looks-wise, it looked great. You're just, like, walking around like yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, so Dom, whose looks are you loving right now? I think you, you've nailed it. I think, um, I think... Uh, Florence, I'm obsessed with, yeah. uh, you know, she, but, but uh, this is the thing that I, I kind of felt like I wanted to talk about. It, it wasn't necessarily sort of people on the red carpet that are sort of, you know, creating a look, but it's about people owning themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. She does that That so seems well. to be yes. something that is really um, coming, it, it's, it's, people aren't being dressed anymore. Mm. They, they mm. are dressing, mm. like they, they are owning who they are, they're owning who, what they're about. Mm. And I think um, Florence does it beautifully. But also, um, I mean, Pamela Anton made a, made such a massive impact Definitely. by not yeah. wearing mm. any makeup. Mm. And again, for for someone of my generation who, who grew up sort of idolizing Pamela Anton for very different reasons. Mm. Uh, <laughs> just an FYI. <laughs> um, but it's, it's the idea of, you know, incredible women, powerful women, 
of a certain age just owning themselves. Yeah. And and uh, mm. Gillian Anderson did it the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where she she hit like two million, three million followers or something, and 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 she just went on and did a little dance with no makeup on, and she just rightly said, and also just FYI, this is what I look like without any yeah. makeup on, you know, because I'm just doing this quick to say thank you to everyone. But she looked incredible yeah. mm. because she was just her her sort of real raw self, and I I feel like that is really what's coming out now yeah. is this mm. idea of of identity and self-expression yes and, yeah. mm. you know it's it's a it's a, a life lived and it's it's me and this is who I am and 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 that's what I'm presenting to the world but that's the beauty of makeup right because yes. you can play mm. into that and you can express yourself through that and if it doesn't work you take it all off and try something new and you know it's like yeah but th but that's almost you know it, it's I, I, it's a bit of a bit chicken and the egg. What came first? Mm. Was it the cosmetic industry that created these sort of skincare-based makeup products to allow skin to look as mm. beautiful as it possibly can in its natural state? Or was it answering the need from, from consumers who wanted to just be themselves, you know, and not be covered up with, with makeup? So it is a bit of a, you know, what came first? Mm. But whatever's, whatever came first, I don't care. I'm loving the fact that people are just able to be themselves and really embracing that. Finding your own voice, finding your own sense of style and yeah. taste, yeah. that is what it's people really are going refreshing. for. It's really refreshing. Long may it continue, yeah. I would say. Long may it continue, you're completely right. Who knows what we're gonna see next, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. And what a great chat it's been. I mean, I can't believe, guys, but we are at the end of the show. That's it for today. Thank you so much to you guys, and Adiola, of course. Next week, Charlotte is back in the hot seat for an Oscar special, my favorite night of the year, reporting on the fashion highs and low on the red carpet. In the meantime, we would love it if you could comment below, give us a thumbs up, and do subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Goodbye, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Bye.